Hi everyone! Um, today I'm going to be talking about Fiji. Fiji was an amazing place to visit. I um, It was kind of like a holiday within my extended holiday that I did and I spent my birthday here. I knew I wanted to spend my birthday somewhere amazing and Fiji was the place. I'm really sorry about how dark it is I guess. Like you can tell because you can see the lights in the background. Uh, but it, it's like four o'clock in the afternoon and it's basically nighttime outside already so that's perfect for the lighting on my face right now um but you know you're not here for my face even though it is beautiful also i'm really sorry for the lack of um gopro videos or just videos in general that i'm going to be attaching on the end of this it, um, it was around about the time that I lost the um, charging lead for my GoPro. So when I got to Fiji, I literally had one charge, like one full battery of my GoPro left that I was kind of saving for the right moment. So yeah, there's not going to be a lot of that, though what I do show you will hopefully be amazing. And I would definitely suggest if you are in the Australia, New Zealand area, that you go these group of islands that make up Fiji uh, just because you know you're that side of the world and it's paradise there so why not I've got a really really funny story to tell you to begin with I flew from Auckland into Fiji and as we were queuing up for immigration um, they obviously check your passport and the woman at the passport check asked me where I've just come from, Auckland, where I was going to next, Brisbane, then asked where I was going after that, Singapore, then she asked me when I was going home, and at this point I hadn't booked my flight home or anything, I just knew I'd be going home around about August, which is what I said. She asked me if I was working uh, in any of these countries I was going to before going home. I said, no, I'm just traveling around, and she goes, come with me so then I got taken to uh, this room out back and put in this waiting room while she took my passport to give to an immigration officer uh, so at this point I was like shit like I'm not gonna be allowed into the country I paid all this money for for the trip and they they weren't gonna let me in that was what was going through my head after about five ten minutes i got called into the office um with by the immigration officer and he started asking me a bunch of questions of course of what was my purpose coming to fiji how long i was going to be staying and then he started asking more personal questions just like how much money i had in my bank how i got this money and if I had a sponsor and I was like oh no no one sponsored me I worked for a year and a half to earn this money to come traveling and he said it's a lot of money I said well yeah I worked hard for it he started just making weird comments I guess such as he asked me if I'd booked a hotel in Fiji and I said oh yeah this one and he asked to see a confirmation of it I showed him on my phone. Then he commented on the fact that I booked a female dorm. So, oh, a female dorm. I was like, yeah, yeah, just, it was the cheapest option kind of thing. Looked at my passport and everything and realized it was gonna be my birthday whilst I was in Fiji. And then he said something like, um, oh, so are you celebrating? I was like, oh yeah, like I will be when it gets to my birthday. He said, oh, so are you having a drink tonight? I was like, Oh no, not tonight. I'm um, gonna head straight to bed when I get to the hostel. It was, oh, so you don't want to join me for a drink then? I was like, oh, <laughs> not tonight. I mean, I'm pretty tired, you know, just wanna get into my bed. Uh, and he said, oh, how about tomorrow then? I was like, oh, okay, yeah, sure, I mean can't think of a reason why not right now <laughs> so then he was like oh uh, do you have a Fiji sim oh no I'm only here for two weeks so I didn't think it was worth getting one. Oh, so how am I gonna contact you then 
I don't know. So then he asked if it was alright to come by my hostel tomorrow and ask for me at the reception. Okay. So yeah, at the time I was I was going along with this because I was thinking I need to get into the country, like he has the power to ship me back home probably. But there is a rule that you, you can't go to Fiji unless you have a plane ticket all the way back to your home country. I double checked on the UK government website and nowhere does it state this. I mean, it might say it on the F Fijian uh, government website, but yeah, it didn't say this on the UK one, so I didn't think that it was necessary to buy. I just thought you needed a, a ticket out of the country and it didn't really matter where you went. But yeah, apparently that's the rule. Um, that was interesting, um, a bit of a poo my pants moment, I guess. <sighs> Terrifying. I spent the first couple of days in Fiji just <sighs> trying to hide from this immigration officer, basically. Uh, so the way that I travelled around the F around Fiji, the main island, and the other islands around it was through the Fiji experience. I had heard about this because I think a guy that I'd met doing Fraser Island in Australia called Fraser uh, had done it a few weeks before and I messaged him and he really recommended it so I was like okay yeah I mean I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do it otherwise and the Fiji experience was like the cheapest and most worthwhile tour by the sounds of it you can choose how many days and nights you want to do. I chose the nine days, eight nights tour just because it gave me a bit of wiggle room for because I'd already booked my uh, flight out for two weeks later and I wanted some, you know, time to chill on the beach and stuff, not just going straight from one island to the other constantly. And there was eight people on our bus altogether and then we had a guide called Emmy and a driver called Jimmy, both lovely and funny people. So yeah, there was eight people and they were all doing different days. There was only one girl, Sam, who was doing the same, the exact same amount as me. Uh, there was others doing like 11 days um, and I think the rest were doing like five days, four nights kind of thing. So our first destination on this tour was an island called Robinson Crusoe Island. And it was a really nice introduction to the whole Virgin way and culture. We learned how to husk a coconut, uh, we watched fire dancing, we watched our first carver ceremony. A carver is like this traditional drink that they have in Fiji. So it's from the root of this plant they have and they sort of put it in water then have a, oh I forgot the material, like a muslim uh, material they squeeze obviously because you don't want the actual plant in there uh, they squeeze it through and drain all the water and it has like an earthy aniseedy kind of taste and it's if you drink a lot of it it's meant to have like similar effects as weed yeah I liked it like not a lot of people did when you do the ceremony like the person visiting or the people visiting they offer a gift I guess, usually it's carver, then they serve out the carver and everyone in the circle uh, has to have a, a shot of it. I'm not really explaining this very well, I'm sorry, uh, but it, it was a really cool thing to experience. Yeah, we watched the fire dancing, I'm hopefully gonna uh, be able to put in the video I took um, of it because it was incredible acrobatics with fire it was awesome so for the next three days we did stuff like um we went to a cave a bat cave which stank of bat poo and we did a village visit which was that was fun like they made us a uh, proper um Fijian lunch and stuff a lot of it involves spinach like fried spinach stuff wrapped in spinach and prawns and stuff it was it was tasty stuff <sighs> we went oh it was like these bamboo 
raft i don't know why i'm doing this <laughs> uh we went bamboo rafting down a river it was raining at the time yeah and we had this photographer with us as well who had a drone with him and was taking overhead shots and whatever it was it was pretty cool but so cold and you didn't think you'd be cold in fiji but it was like Oh, okay, I need to cover up now. Uh, but it was, it was a great experience, especially the whole village thing. I bought like a little turtle necklace, which is meant to give you good luck, but then um, it didn't really give me much luck later on, but that's another story. I can show you a carver cup though. That's a carver cup. It's got a little turtle in there. That's kind of the size that you would get drinking carver. And then on the last day we are on the mainland, we went to the mud pools, and uh, just covered ourselves in mud then went into the hot springs and washed it all off again that was really nice yeah it was good and then we headed back to a similar place where we started the tour in the mainland and at this point um a few of the group were breaking off we were not gonna have emmy and jimmy as tour guides anymore it was we lost our parents i guess and got sent off uh into the wild and uh, no, we got basically uh, boat passes to go to the islands the next day was my birthday what the tour does it books you into these rooms and stuff and on this night I just happened to be in a 37 38 bed dorm none of the other people on my tour were in the same dorm and yeah I woke up on my birthday sort of alone we headed to the island this island you could walk around in 10 minutes that's how in the middle of the ocean it was it was you couldn't even see other islands from it it was just this bit of sand in the middle of the ocean and that's that's crazy like yeah i spent my birthday in the middle of the pacific ocean just swimming in the sea and stuff like I in the past I've not really had very exciting birthdays I rarely saw my friends because either they were busy um they lied to me about being busy yeah I still remember that bitches or um we were revising for exams especially for my 21st birthday everyone was revising for their third year exams and stuff and obviously they're really important so yeah my 21st was not not the best birthday and that's probably the day that I decided I was gonna break up with my boyfriend so I didn't do it for another three months though yeah anyway so this birthday was kind of special for me because even though I celebrated it with random people that I met a few days ago it was just cool it was just Sam and I after that. We went to Manta Ray Island. And this one was a bit... Like, when you first see it, you're not really that impressed by it. But then you sort of walk around and it's really cool. Like, these paths just sort of go through the jungle and stuff. And uh, the way they serve all the meals was really cool. It was like, they had a set menu and you can choose what you want. It was a bit like you're in a restaurant, but you'd already pay for the food. And the food was semi-decent. Like, they had some English food as well, and they had, like, a vegetarian option. So I could, like, eat what I want, basically. We hired a snorkeling gear here, uh, which I was so happy that we did, because um, even though I've been scuba diving, snorkeling, and the Great Barrier Reef, I didn't uh, see that much stuff, because the coral is dying there obviously because of the problems with the um, cyclones and just you know pollution and global warming etc and I was so glad that I did it in Fiji because just it was so much more stunning again we didn't see that much coral but we saw stuff like blue starfish and the water was just so much clearer and we had proper flippers and stuff so I've mentioned it before I'm not a strong swimmer but with the flippers it's easier to like go further out I got more confident in the water and we also did a bit of kayaking which was awesome we did do kayaking a few days before as well and I thought I was gonna be really good but I was shit 
that was fun i'm so glad that we did that and then yeah we, after spending two days there we went back to the mainland and yeah i was off to back to australia the next day yeah so that's it for fiji <laughs> overall when you look at the pictures for fiji and you see paradise that is what you get especially if you go to the islands on the mainland not so much it's more cultural in the mainland i guess um like i said with the carver ceremonies the tour was very expensive i think i think it was over a thousand pounds um or just under but then you had to pay for food separately as well i worked it out that on the islands because obviously there's no shops or anything you have to do the meal plans they uh they give you i worked out that it was 30 pounds a day for all three meals so that's 10 pound a meal when you think about it and that's a lot especially for the amount of food that you get when it was a buffet obviously you can help yourself to as much as you want but especially for someone like me who who was vegetarian and couldn't eat a lot of it that that was a bit of a waste like i said the last one the manta ray island their food was really good but it wasn't a buffet so you were limited to what they gave you it was only on that place that they gave you pudding as well and i was so happy to have pudding i was so happy i think it was owned by an australian so she knew what like um western people would want if you do go to fiji bear in mind you will have to budget for food as well not just accommodation and the boats to get there i think looking back i would have done it myself rather than going through a tour like even though i probably wouldn't have done the mainland so much and i really did enjoy doing the tour with the people i met and everything i think i kind of regretted spending so much money on it just because i could have spent that money on other things so say on the islands i sort of stopped myself from buying too many drinks just because i'd already spent a lot to go to these islands so thank you so much for watching this again i hope you enjoy the videos i'm going to attach them to the end um if you could be great if you can give this video a thumbs up um cliche as that sounds just just so i know that people actually like these videos that i'm doing i mean i like making them i just you know hope that people are getting something out of it as well um as always I am happy to ask any questions you might have about travelling in general, uh, solo travel, travelling in Fiji, Australia, New Zealand. The next video that I'm going to be doing is on the outback in Australia which was to me the best place in Australia that I went to so and it helped that I was with an amazing group of people as well so I'm really excited to talk to you about that. Anyway, I hope you have a good day, evening, morning, night, whatever time of day it is. And yeah, thank you so much for watching again. Bye!